Hey everyone, it's Lars here, and welcome back to Virtual Paddock. Today I'm back to the topic of gear, specifically pedals, but this time Hall Effect sensors. Now I do already have a video on the specific Hall Effect sensor mod that I use in my Fanatec CS Elite pedals, but that was a review, whereas today's video is going to be more about Hall Effect sensors for pedals in general. But first of all, what is a Hall Effect sensor? Now, actually, let me start with the Hall Effect. If you send an electric current through a conducting material, typically the electrons will travel in a straight line, and in doing so, they will create a magnetic field. But if you then place that material between the poles of a permanent magnet, you end up with two magnetic fields in contrast, and the electrons will then take a curved path instead of a straight line. So now, one side of the material will have a negative charge, and of course the other side with a positive charge. And this will then result in a voltage difference, which is also called the Hall voltage. And it occurs perpendicular to both the electric current and the magnetic field of the permanent magnet. And that's called the Hall effect. Now a Hall effect sensor uses this effect to measure the magnitude of a magnetic field. And its output will be a voltage directly proportional to this magnitude. But now, how is that used for sim racing pedals and what benefits do they have? One of the ways Hall effect sensors can be used is as proximity sensors, being able to sense how close something is without actually making contact. So when it comes to pedals, the sensor can detect how close the pedal is, and thus can determine the position of the pedal. And the benefit of this is that you have no moving electronic parts constantly in contact with each other, which means that it won't wear down, which is the main problem with potentiometers. And I've spoken about that a few times, how potentiometers wearing down will falsify the signal, but with a Hall effect sensor, you can eliminate that problem. Alright, so I hope that was helpful and managed to explain it well enough. If you've got any questions, just ask them in the comments and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and want to see more content like this, be sure to click like and subscribe. So till next time, use the downforce and see you soon.